Have you been dreaming about getting a wireless microphone system for your camera setup? Well, I've got bad news for you. You don't need one. Well, you probably don't need one. Now, why would I go and crush your dreams like that? And is it hypocritical that I'm recording this using a wireless microphone? Well, let's find out. The reason I say you don't need a wireless microphone system or that you might not need one is to save you money. I'm looking out for you. It's so easy to get gas, you know, gear acquisition syndrome. We see all the, all the YouTubers wearing their fancy new wireless microphone systems that somebody probably gave them. I had to pay for mine and uh, we want one too, but do we really need them? So I'm gonna talk about why, we, why you might need one and why you maybe don't. The way I see it, there are maybe five different options. I can't stand still, the bugs get me. For recording YouTube videos, there's really five different options the way I see it. You can have the built-in mic on your camera. You could get a, uh, a shotgun mic that is external, but you mount on your camera. You could have a studio microphone. You could have a lavalier microphone that has a cord, so it plugs directly into your camera. Or you have the wireless option. So let's look at some of the scenarios that you might encounter as a, as a YouTuber. Um, vlogging or you know on the go talking to the camera maybe you're not vlogging but maybe you're doing like i'm doing this isn't a vlog but you know it's a discussion when you're vlogging or talking to the camera you have the advantages of that the camera is close to your face most of the time so you can get away with using the internal microphone in your camera with some caveats the mic has to be decent you know not all built-in camera microphones are any good also you need to be able to put a dead cat on it if you're going outside because any little wind I don't care if your camera has a wind reduction setting or whatever, they don't work very well. You need a dead cat. You've heard me say that before. So if you can do that, the internal microphone might be good enough. Like for example, my Sony ZV-1, when it's not needing repairs, it's got a good built-in microphone and it comes with a dead cat. So, you know, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be worried about using that camera at all. This, this camera, the internal microphone's not that great. In a recent video, I was bragging that this uh, combination of Panasonic GH4 and a SLR Magic eight millimeter lens and a gimbal was light enough that I could hike with it. It's kind of heavy though. I'm thinking maybe I should have just brought my GoPro. The lens is light, don't get me wrong. The whole setup though. And people look at me really strange on the trail when I'm walking around with a gimbal talking to myself. Now, if you are the type of creator who is always showing your viewer what you're working on or the scenery or things like that, then a built-in microphone on your camera is not gonna work very well because the audio will change drastically when you point your camera away. So you would probably benefit from having a lavalier microphone instead because the lavalier microphone is gonna stay on your chest or your collar or wherever you've placed it and it's gonna be a consistent distance from your mouth the whole time. So even if you point your camera away, the audio will stay the same. So a lavalier is an option there. If you regularly have your camera pointed at your face, you could also get an external shotgun microphone because that's gonna be very directional, probably will sound better than your camera's internal mic. And in a pinch, you can turn the shotgun microphone around and point it backwards if you're showing people something with your camera. You know, it takes a, a couple extra seconds to do that, but it can be done. So a wireless microphone system in this case, it's not essential. It's nice to have, but you can get by without it. Now with a lavalier system, whether it's corded or wireless, you can, you can have some placement issues. If you don't place it in the right place, you might get a lot of different uh, volume levels. I see a lot of people wearing their wireless systems on their collar because they're in a t-shirt and they don't have anywhere to put it, but it really should be on your chest if possible. And the reason there is because even if you turn your head, it remains relatively the same distance. If you have it on one side of your head, then if you turn towards that side, it's gonna be way louder and you turn away from that side, it's gonna be a lot quieter. So you might have some problems in post. You know, I should know better if I'm gonna go hiking in California in August, I should probably start earlier. It's kind of hot. If however, you are using a gimbal while you are talking to camera, then you got some issues because Gimbals are very fussy with what you put on them. It's almost impossible to use a gimbal with a shotgun microphone mounted to your camera. You could mount it to the handle of the gimbal, but then you run into cord problems. You can get tangled up in it. And the same thing is true with a lav mic if it's corded. You could easily get that cord tangled up in the gimbal itself. So if you're using a gimbal to talk to the camera like I'm doing now, wireless becomes useful because I have the wireless unit. It's so light, it's just mounted on top of the camera. No problem to balance the gimbal or you could use the internal microphone on your camera. Another, another issue with um, lav mics or, or wireless systems is that 
if you're mounting them on your body or on your clothing, you can get some handling noise, you know, rustling and things like that. Whereas a shotgun microphone or your built-in microphone on your camera, you probably won't have that handling noise quite as much. Depends. I don't know what that truck was doing up here. It must have been lost. Ugh, all the dust it threw up. I guess here's one solution to the rustling uh, of a lav mic <laughs> mounted on my hat. I don't know if it sounds any good, so I'm not gonna leave it here, but it looks pretty stupid. I don't look any stupider than just walking around with a gimbal anyway. So let's talk about using microphones in a studio now or anywhere where you're indoors, you're not holding the camera, you're further away from the camera. First thing is you cannot use the internal microphone of your camera there. It's just bad. The reason why your built-in microphone in your camera is no good in a studio situation is simply because your microphone is too far away from your mouth. In, a, in an indoor situation, you've got all that sound bouncing off the walls, all that reflected sound, all that room sound, and it can overpower your voice and make it hard for your viewers to understand you. So you're gonna get roughly the same bad effect if you have a shotgun microphone mounted on your camera. Because again, while a shotgun microphone does focus this, you know, focus Focus where it's collecting the sound, it's still gonna be probably too far away and you're still gonna pick up a lot of room noise. So for a studio situation, one scenario is a lavalier microphone and a corded one will probably work just fine because you're not moving around a lot. You're sitting in one spot talking to the camera and a lavalier is handy if you wanna hide it or if you don't want it to be really visible and a wireless system can do the same thing. The problem with lavaliers or wireless systems is that the microphones are tiny and so the sound quality is not that great. It's workable, it's usable, but that wouldn't be my first choice. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I typically use a microphone either on a stand on my desk or on a boom pole. Sometimes I'll boom it out of the shot. That, that is gonna sound the best as long as you get it close to your face. That's the key, close to your face and a decent quality microphone. You also want a cardioid or shotgun microphone. An omni microphone isn't gonna work in this case because it's gonna pick up a lot of room sound. You want it focused on you. That's pretty amazing. We're in the middle of a severe drought and it's August and yet there's still water running in that stream. In a studio situation, using a wireless system or at least using you know the, the transmitter box as your microphone. I mean, it works, but I think it looks a little odd because you've got this, it's bigger than a lavalier, so you got this box on your chest or on your collar or something like that. And you probably have lights on it too, so it's a little distracting. I have this lavalier microphone from Movo. It's got a crazy long cable. I got room to spare when I put it on myself and then plug it directly into the camera. And it cost me like 13 bucks. Now I could see a scenario where if you're regularly really far away from the camera and a corded lavalier mic, won't reach, then a wireless system might be useful. However, you might wanna plug a lavalier microphone into the transmitter rather than wearing the transmitter, just so it looks a little nicer. Well, this concludes the shade portion of my hike here. It's all blazing hot sun and open sky from here. So what if you're making tutorial or how-to videos? What's the best audio solution for that? If you like to have the camera pointed at what you're working on while you're talking, then your internal microphone on your camera is not gonna work out and neither is a shotgun microphone mounted on your camera, even if you point it at your face because you're probably gonna move your camera around quite a bit. And every time you move your camera, you move your microphone and you're gonna have really inconsistent audio. And a studio microphone, it's just gonna probably get in your way. I could see where you could maybe set up a boom pole and kind of point it if you're generally pointed in the same direction. But for most scenarios, I think a studio microphone is probably out as well. So for tutorials, you need a microphone solution that is going to stay the same distance from your mouth, no matter where you move your camera, no matter where you move, if you're moving, you know, around on a table or around in different rooms. This is where a lavalier or a wireless microphone is gonna come in handy because when you move around, if you're moving the camera around or you're moving yourself around, when you're showing people, demonstrating stuff, your microphone is gonna be consistently the same distance from your face. If I'm demonstrating how to do something on a desk or I'm doing an unboxing part of a video or something like that, lavalier mic is the way to go. It's out of the way, it's consistent, 
it checks all the right boxes. That reminds me of a bonus tip, kind of a hack, and uh, I'm gonna save it for the end. So when trying to decide whether you need to drop some serious cash on a wireless microphone system, ask yourself this, is your camera normally pointed at your face? Does the distance from the camera to me change? And is it normally close to your face? If that's the case, you don't need a wireless microphone system. If your video situation though is such where you are constantly moving around, where the distance from your camera to your face is frequently changing, or you're showing other things in your video while talking, then at least a lavalier mic is probably needed, possibly a wireless microphone. However, You might need to be prepared to spend a couple hundred bucks on a wireless system because they are not all created equal. By the way, that hack I was talking about, you can actually use your phone as kind of a lavalier microphone and uh, you can record audio with it and sync it up later. So in situations like that, I'll uh, record audio and video on my phone. The video doesn't matter though. And I'll record scratch audio on my camera and then I'll use my editing software to sync it up. And so you can actually hide your phone on your body. Once I taped it to my chest under my shirt and used it like a, a poor man's lavalier microphone. So did I convince you not to buy a wireless microphone set? Yeah, I didn't think it was gonna work either. You might be interested in a review I did then. In fact, I reviewed and compared not one, but three different wireless microphone kits. And you can see that right there in that video. So go check it out. Mm -hmm.